chosen you. Most of you guys, Jesus probably won't choose and he'll just let you burn in hell. There you go. You're live now. Okay, that's good. Questions, questions. Right. What is your name? My name Red. Red? Yeah. Uh, Red. Like What's the good, color? Yeah. Like the color? Make some noise, y'all homosexuals out there. Yo! Yeah! So Hi. Before so. Red like the color, right? Red? Yeah, okay. Yeah, red uh, like the what, uh, what's your question? I don't really got no question. I got a couple statements, though. He made a statement earlier about how um, pussy don't go on pussy, or vagina don't go on vagina, yeah. and dick don't go in dick. At the end of the day, we doing what we love. We ain't living your life, and you ain't living this life for us. So why we gotta care about your opinion? You feel me? Wait. You want, yeah. I'm hey, look. Hey, look. Okay, just make one point at a time, though. So finish up this point and let me respond to it. Then we should go to the next one. That's fine. Right. My next one. Hey, can I get some silence, please? My next one. Matthew seven. Do not judge, or you yourself will be judged. You sitting, here judging, you sitting here judging us right now on how we living, but I guarantee you, it's saying some way you go home and you sinning. Yeah. I guarantee you, you ain't just looking at your wife or maybe your husband. You probably looking at another man. You probably looking at another woman. You feel me? But wish, nobody ever knows what you got going on in your life, so why you worried about what we got going on in ours? Yeah. All right, let me respond now, Rod. All right, so your first point was, you know, just let people do what they want to do, do what they love and stuff like that. Jesus says you can do what you love, but you'll go to hell for it. Uh, unless it's loving God, of course. But anyways, uh, concerning the pussy with pussy and the penis with the butthole and stuff like that, uh, in Romans, God, God is better than us, Fred. Would you say God is better than, is God smarter than us or no? Wait. Does someone maybe some heathen unplugged it again? Oh, there we go, there we go. So, do you believe God is smarter than us or no? I believe you somebody Okay, so God gave us His word. He knows better than us. God says that it's wicked for a woman to be with woman in Romans one twenty six, and it's wicked for men to be in with men in Romans one twenty seven. So the, if God says homosex is wrong, who are we to say, oh yeah, it's okay, it's good, and it's loving? No, that's not loving. But uh, anyways, to your second point, Matthew 7, 1 says, judge not that ye be not judged. Le judge not, lest ye be judged. Matthew 7, 5 says, once you've removed the log out of your own eye, you can see clearly to remove the speck out of your neighbor's eye. So if you read the whole passage, Jesus is saying, judge, but don't judge hypocritically. Right. So Jesus is actually saying to judge them, to judge rightly. So do you have anything else you want to say? Honestly, at the end of the day, I really feel like I really out here being judgmental because at the end of the day, my mouth, my hands, my own pussy gonna touch some pussy, and if you don't like that, I don't got nothing to do with it. Hold on, man. Let me just respond to what she said, then you can... No, 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 yeah, uh, you could stay there. Let me respond to your point, then he Come can on. speak, unless you have something else. Uh, but anyways, uh, what were you saying? Well, yeah, we did come here to judge you guys. Uh, there's a book called The Book of Judges. It's about Jews slash Christians judging, so... There's a book called the Book of Judges. There were no Christians in Judges. Oh, well, okay. Jesus says that there's nothing new under the sun. So just like how they're judging, then Jesus says to judge people in the New Testament as well. So, anyways, so if you're a Christian, you better be judging people or you're being a bad Christian. I look, I ain't gonna lie, I got a class to go to, but I'm gonna end it with this, just like this, because y'all really bad association out here right now. 
First Corinthians 15:33. Do not be misled. Bad association spoils useful habits, and that's both of y'all right now. And I ain't got nothing too much more to say to neither one of y'all. At the end of the day, even if I do go to hell, if I, if I go to heaven, I'm still gonna eat pussy till the day I die. And that's, that's what you say. Give her 15:34, bro. Uh, yeah, hold on, let me respond to what she said. Yeah, uh, Jesus says most people hate you when you become a Christian, so. Don't become a Christian if you don't want people to not like you. Anyways, go ahead and... Um, uh, hi, my name is Jackson. I actually, uh, been here, uh, last time, uh, cause I, uh, cause I famously held up a sign, uh, last semester and said, uh, prepare your 80s cause Jesus is coming, but... I know some people will get, I know some people will get a laugh out of that, um... I just wanna go ahead and, uh, talk about, like, what you guys are doing right now, uh, if you're... If you remember uh, Matthew, Gospel according to Matthew, uh, chapter 7, verse uh, 21 through 23. Um, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only wants to do the will of my Father in heaven. So, so on that day, oh, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy your name? And cast out demons in your name? And do many deeds and powers in your name? Like the shit you're doing like right now. And then I'll, I'll declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. So uh, that's talking about like people that do uh, people that do stuff for Christ and they stay in sin. We're not out here preaching hypocritically. So you kind of are. You're. That's, this is not very loving by neighbor right now. Well, well, Jesus says when you love your neighbor, most people won't think it's loving. So. Jesus says he came to bring a sword, not he did not come to bring peace but a sword. <laughs>